What happens when creativity meets technology? The New Museum's New Ink Program's first end-of-year show at New York City's Red Bull Studios provides an answer. Bringing together 100 innovative entrepreneurs and cultural practitioners working at the intersection of art, design, and technology, the New Ink encourages collaboration between creative talents from different disciplines. After developing the program for over one year, its inaugural show built a platform to showcase creative products pushing the limits of experimentation and exploration. And among this experimental, artistic, technological, and playful works, there's one drawing robot project called Drawing Operations Unit Generation 1 that was designed by New Hive in collaboration with Canadian Chinese artist Song Wen Chang. This is a project I'm really uh, very, very excited about because it's, it's a very uh, new type of um, collaboration for me. Normally you don't see any sort of collaboration between um, a machine and a human. It's usually very didactic. It's like a programmer programs something, a machine executes it. And there's never a, a, har a harmonious image of human and machine interaction. And um, that's sort of how this project came about. Um, it's called Drawing Operations Unit Generation 1. Um, short form for Doug, which is what I've named my drawing robot. His um, working with the robot's um, errors and his distortions and his lack of, um, or its lack of um, motor dexterity ended up being a feature of the project. Things that I would think were kind of aggravating or um, would be aggravating, like a lack of precision or a lack of perfection, ended up being something that really colored um, the, the project in a way that was kind of delightful and surprising. Using drawing as her foundation, Song Wen Chang has been exploring the contrast between tangible and intangible, material and immaterial, digital and physical for over one decade. In pursuit of more possibilities, she combined drawing with other forms of art, such as sculpture, installation, and performance. This time, she experimented with programming a drawing robot with her signature lines and perception of spatial structures, then handed over the controls. Um, given that I've developed a visual language and a visual style over the past 10 years, I hope that that becomes sort of uh, a basis for how people regard the collaboration with um, the, the robot and sort of what the robot sees. It's, I have 10 years of um, work showing my visual sensibility and my visual style, bringing that into this totally new terrain with a mechanical agent that's never drawn before um, is a nice way of showing what the differences are. If I didn't, if drawing wasn't a part of my practice, if it was only instrumentation, for instance, then it would be difficult to see what the relationship was. But I think I've shown what I can do over the past 10 years, and now I'm trying to uh, show it in a different way. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jean Stone.